Welcome to the TPulse example video series where we will observe a McGill science professor ask a clicker question and use interactive engagement to get maximal learning from the students. Throughout the following video, I will highlight some key points of the clicker question process. Let us now observe. Put three distinguishable objects into two indistinguishable boxes. You can talk about this one. The, the restriction of no talking is lifted. I just needed to achieve statistical like independence in the trials. Notice that Professor Young allows students to talk about the question, but very few actually do. Okay, good. Quite a few responses here. I'm going to give you another couple of minutes to see Alright, I'm going to close the poll. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of opinions about this. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and ask you to try again. So please, please talk this over with your neighbor before you answer. Throw items into a box. Is that a sort of fun, sort of trouble? Some of the boxes can be empty. I mean, I can stuff everything in the same box if I wanted. That, oh, that's okay. I mean, otherwise I got a problem, right? I don't have no box. Can you put like no 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 Aha, now there is a sharp peak at four. Okay, let's see what they are. Uh After this large convergence towards the right answer, Professor Young asked the students what were the four ways to do it. The students have now learned the material by explaining it to each other rather than having the instructor explain it to them. Enjoy trying it out for yourself in your own class. 